Alright guys, so today this video is about dimensional analysis. And dimensional analysis is a problem solving method that uses the fact that any number or expression can be multiplied by 1 without changing its value. It is a method used to convert between units. So this is something that we can do. People are always, um, you know, there's a lot of times when you need to convert between units and dimensional analysis is a method that will help you do that. So if you can learn the um, kind of the tricks of how to do dimensional analysis, it will help you in all your future science classes. Uh, so here's an example. If you have 24 inches and you need to convert it to feet, then you are going to create a conversion factor. So this section here is called a conversion factor. And that conversion factor is always equal to 1. It may not look like it's equal to 1, but it is. So 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So since you know 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1, then that means that if these are equal to each other, then they are equal to 1. So this is a conversion factor. So you use those conversion factors to help uh, get to the unit that you're trying to get to. So you create a fraction with the two units that you have. Uh, sometimes you have to create more than one fraction to do these conversions. Um, but in this example, you only have to do one. So you put the unit that you're trying to get rid of on the bottom of your fraction and they cancel out. So they cross cancel. So in this case, inches cross cancel. And that leaves foot as the ending unit so then you this is like a multiplication uh, you may see it actually represented like down here on the uh, further down as a multiplication sign instead of this grid type situation you'll see it in both both ways but this just means that you multiply so you go straight across and you multiply 24 times 1 is equal to 24 and then you just bring your 12 over so 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. Okay, so if you look down here at the next example, it says how many yards are in 52 feet? So you begin with what you know. You know you have 52 feet. And then you try to determine what else uh, you know about 52 feet. So we know we have to get to yards. So something that you've learned in your past is that one yard is equal to 3 feet. So the conversion factors that's possible with this knowledge of one yard is equal to three feet is you could have one yard over three feet or you could have three feet over one yard. So these are the two options that you can use. So you go back to what you started with. You're starting with 52 feet. So that is going to determine which one of these conversion factors you're going to use. So since we want to get rid of feet, you're going to use this one to, as your conversion factor. So you're going to put one yard over three feet. This allows the feet to cancel out, and then you just have 52 times 1 divided by 3. And that gives you this number. Okay, so this number is what you'll get in your calculator. But as you learn just in the lesson or two back, that you also have to look at significant figures. Okay, so our beginning, um, our beginning number had two significant figures, so that means our answer has to have two significant figures. So even though you get this number in your calculator, does not mean that that is the right answer. The correct answer for this one would be 17 yards. So I have a few more examples of doing that. This one is converting between a standard unit of inches to a metric centimeters. Uh, and again, the, this is something that you know about it. <clears throat> and in this case, they also are actually, they're going from centimeters to, to inches and then to feet. So this one has two setups. You have to use your knowledge of what's equal to each other to get to the unit you have. So if you know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, 
that knowledge will start getting you to feet. So in this situation, you have centimeters in the beginning. Um, so centimeters goes on the bottom of your conversion factor. So in one inch, there's 2.54 centimeters. So that cancels out and that would have left you with inches. But in this problem, we're trying to get to feet. So that means we're going to need another conversion factor. And in this conversion factor, you have one foot is equal to 12 inches and we want to cancel the inch out. So we put the inch on the bottom and we already put the one foot on the top. All right. So cancel out your inches. You're left with foot and that's what you want. So you multiply across 140 times one times one divided by 2.54 times 12. And that will give you this number. Uh, but you only have two significant digits in the beginning, so you can only have two significant digits in the end. So 4.6 ends up being your correct answer. So the, this is just a table of known information that can be used to create your conversions. So as you work through your problems, you might want to look back up at some of these to help determine what your conversion is going to be as you try to tr go from one unit to another. So try some of these. Um, if you're having trouble, just send me an email. We'll find some more videos uh, for you to practice with.